Faith, the ticket to survival. Romans 1 verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Faith is firm persuasion in the edicts and promises of God. All circumstances in our lives as believers require faith. Faith is required in all situations. Hence the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. It is in these scenarios that the righteousness of God is revealed. The Gospel reveals God's righteousness from faith to faith, stage by stage. Romans 3 verses 21 to 22 But now, independently of the law, the righteousness of God is tangible and brought to light through Jesus, the Anointed One. This is the righteousness that the scriptures prophesied would come. It is God's righteousness made visible through the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. And now all who believe in him receive that gift, for there is really no difference between us. His righteousness is not merely a static pronouncement, but represents the unleashing of his power in an active way. How? By interfering in the lives of those who believe. No one can be righteous by works before God. Romans 3 verse 23 For all have fallen short of what he requires. Righteousness by faith, then, must refer to the gift of righteousness given to human beings by God. Human beings are not justified based on doing, but based on believing. God declares the ungodly to be righteous. Romans 4 verse 5 But no one earns God's righteousness. It can only be transferred when we no longer rely on our own works, but believe in the one who powerfully declares the ungodly to be righteous in his eyes. It is faith that transfers God's righteousness into your account. Romans 1 verse 17 For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Does your faith count when it matters? Is it the showing off faith that bubbles and shines when all is well? Faith is firm persuasion in the edicts and promises of God. Does your faith count when it matters? When your finances are not in the best shape, you are overdrawn on your overdraft. Can you utter this? That the just shall live by faith? Faith is firm persuasion in the edicts and promises of God. Money can be a stressful part of life. The anxiety of providing for your family by having enough to pay the bills? It is important that we remember to first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all will be added that is needed. Additionally, it is wise to not have a greedy obsession with money, putting a love for money before your love for God. Hebrews 13 verse 5 tells us, Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even though money isn't an essential thing in your life, a significant portion of your life will revolve around earning, saving, giving, and spending money. So your relationship with money isn't something you can just brush aside as unspiritual or unnecessary. Pray that you find out the real source of your money problems is it spiritual, generational, poverty, or is it pure irresponsibility or misdirected faith? Money doesn't have a life. It cannot act on its own. It cannot do good deeds, and it cannot commit crimes. Basically, it's neither good nor bad. No matter how many Bible verses about money there is, it boils down to your faith in God and managing the money that God channels your way. Does your faith count when it matters? When sickness knocks at your door? 
James 5 verses 14 to 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Have faith to believe this simple but effective way to deal with sickness that God has prescribed. Proverbs 17 verse 22 A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It is believing that these scriptures are silly that will hurt our faith. Our little faith will view these promises as silly or unrealistic, but it is in them that the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Does your faith count when it matters? When your boss says there is no work for you anymore? Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 14. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope, then you will call upon me, and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me, when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. I will restore your fortunes. God does that, for he is bigger than your boss. Luke 12 verse 24 Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? He is well able to look after you, because you were brought by the blood of Jesus. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Does your faith count when it matters, when your best relationship is on the rocks? Whether you're starting out a new relationship, have been married for years, simply love your friends, or adore your family, there's always a way to incorporate God into each of the unique relationships in your life. Amos 3 verse 3 Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? You and your significant other do not have to agree on everything, but you two should be on the same page most of the time. Both you and your relationship will be going nowhere fast if you are forever working at cross-purposes. Take some time to make sure that you and your significant other agree before moving forward with projects or assuming that your significant other is ready for the next step in your relationship, whatever that might be. Working toward the same goal will decrease friction, frustration, and help you both avoid feeling like the other person is deliberately undermining you. Pray together. You will be surprised with the results. Does your faith count when it matters? When the chips are down, whom do you turn to? Whose spoken word prevails in your life? The worldly counsel or the counsel of God? Isaiah 53 verse 1 Who has believed our message? Believe the message in the Bible. For Jesus says in Hebrews 10 verse 7, Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, To do your will, O God. Find your faith in the word of God. And by doing so, you find the Savior Jesus. Jesus, the answer to all our needs. God bless you.